What's up all you gamers out there? Welcome to GLK TV. This is the very first episode and I am your host Joe. Uh, basically what we'll be talking about on this channel is about games obviously. Uh, game reviews, interviews uh, and a lot more of product reviews as well. So all in all we have a superb show lined up for you today. Uh, do keep in tune and uh, we'll see how it goes. On game news, we've got GTA 5 fresh off the hour and it's looking really good. Uh, two trailers have been put out. Basically, the first one is for the single player online, the, sto the storyboard, the storyline rather, and also the online multiplayer version. Uh, we've got some screenshots for you so, the, so you can take a look at the new GTA 5. It's looking really good and all you fan guys of uh, GTA 5 or GTA the series is going to love this one. So just take a look. So moving on with more gaming news, uh, Witcher 3, the trailer has been released, it's called Killing Monsters. Um, basically, uh, it's, it's, it's tying up the whole series of uh, morality and the choices that you make even in our day-to-day lives. So they've kind of made it a big mashup and it's, it's about morality and the choices that you make. So take a look. By order of the Emperor of Nilfgaard, for the murder of the wounded, looting, cannibalism, you are hereby sentenced to death by hanging. Or torment. Don't meddle. Take the reward and let's go. Scorn Imperial Gold. Tough hunt. Tougher than yours, that's certain. Evil is evil. Lesser, greater, middling. Makes no difference. Ah, come fit me. Bring her down. Do it my way. You like that, you bitch? Get the hammer. Get our teeth in. The degree is arbitrary. The definition's blurred. If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Just make it quick, Geralt. What the? Close your eyes. Hit him! Also talking about uh, the game Witcher, um, it, there's a new board game and also an iPad game that is coming out. So you guys need to take a look at that as well. So moving on with more gaming news, uh, recently we saw some footage of the new CNC game. It's still in the alpha stage of development but it's looking really nice. We have some footage for you so take a look. Here we go. Ready to make the EU proud? Out of money. Got anything? 
Even my powers don't match that. I don't have instructions. Well, with that, it's a wrap for all the new gaming stuff that's happening around. Uh, let's take a look at the Sri Lankan gaming and esports scene for now. So let's move on to the local news segment of uh, what's happening around Sri Lanka and the esports scene over here. We've got news for you today about this new tournament that uh, SLIT is organizing and also we're having an exclusive interview with uh, the founder of Maximum Esports today, live right here in the studio. So keep tuned, let's, let's see what happens. So like I said earlier, um, the Gen X club of SLIT, they've sent us some information about this new tournament that's happening. So let me just take a quick look at it and read it out. Uh, the association is basically dedicated to furthering of games and esports at the university. Uh, it's organizing a three-title tournament uh, to be held at the BMICH. Uh, official titles are for Call of Duty 4, uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 and Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, registrations are currently open so take note also you can see in the background that the countdown is on. Uh, check out the descriptions for the link. Uh, basically, I think you can, you can go to the Genex site and you'll have all the information over there. Uh, bas and the tournament will take place on the 14th uh, of September at the BMICH. Uh, that's basically the news for now. Uh, we'll come back and let's stop with uh, Asus from Maximum Esports. Uh, so, right now I have with me Nilanga Asus Sanjeeva. What's up, mate? How have you been doing? Good, good. Uh, good to see you. All right, so basically today we're going to talk to him about uh, the clan Maximum Esports. Uh, it's been here in Sri Lanka for the past like five years or so. He basically founded it. So it's good to know a little bit more about the clan from the man himself. So we've got him over. So let's just have a quick chat with him. First off, Nilanga, let me uh, just ask you, um, tell us something about the clan and, 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 your, and the role you play in it. Uh, the clan's name is uh, Maximum Esports and uh, recently we have uh, celebrated our 50th anniversary. anniversary and uh, basically I founded the clan so uh, that's about it. Cool scene man. Um, so a lot of people might be asking you this question, how come you started a clan? I mean that's the, that's, that's, um, there aren't many clans in Sri Lanka. What, what gave you the idea to start a clan of your own? Uh, it's actually when I started uh, Maximum Esports, uh, there weren't much uh, clans. Uh, there were only two clans, I guess. So I wanted to do something in my own. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, okay, I'll make a clan. I'll make a team because I had few friends. Then I talked to them. Then I started it. That's how it started. And I think currently we are doing a pretty good job. Sounds brilliant. Uh, five years for a clan has been is, is a huge milestone for a clan itself. Um, what has changed in that journey of, of that five years? What has changed from then to now? Obviously, technology has improved. The games that are coming out are way more freaking awesome. But what internally has changed? Internally, actually, we have now like serious gamers. Now it's people more organized, are, I assume. Yeah, it's really organized, and people are really committed. We are people. Gamers are really committed to their games and they are really practicing really hard and they actually want to achieve something in their life in gaming. So actually we are in a good place in gaming in Sri Lanka. Well that's brilliant to know that there are some really hardcore gamers in Sri Lanka as well. Most of all we see in the international arena a lot of people really dedicated to gaming and like we do now at SLCG there are bigger events out there. Yeah. yeah. But what has been the biggest achievement for Max within the country? Uh, 2010 we managed to win uh, SLCG and Call of Duty mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, Kushan Senanayaka uh, he actually mm -hmm. won uh, WCG 2009 and he went to Korea and uh, China to take uh, place in cool. uh, FIFA scene. Ah, that, sounds, that sounds really good I mean yeah, people actually, are really moving on with, with the whole gaming career. Yeah, 
he is actually a good player so he is really talented and he got the opportunity he deserves brilliant so okay so now just a quick question trying trying to attach your personal life with gaming how has gaming how has this lifestyle affected your personal life not online not your asus life but a personal life has it affected you for the better or for the worst uh it's like 50 50 <laughs> <laughs> uh sometimes uh, in parents and all that the usual the usual, usual issues, issues that all gamers yeah, have yeah all the gamers have i'm pretty sure the nagging parents and then the nagging girlfriend so we'll leave yeah. it at that <laughs> of course So taking that into consideration, how you balanced your life, your personal life, and your gaming life, and then maybe your studies also on the other side. Uh, when taking all of that into consideration, what has been the biggest challenge for you in this in, within these years? Uh, the biggest challenge is to like handle these people <laughs> <laughs> because we have like kids and people who work. If you get them into one place how many how many members in total right now uh we have like uh, more than 90 members more than 90 members and 40 40 to 45 are active currently okay, okay. and uh, professionally we have like uh, the main the, the the special teams i guess yeah teams we have call of for call of duty we have two teams and uh, uh, nfs and fifa we have some players and currently we are planning to have a dota team as well uh that's it oh it's five years max has come a long journey you guys are very strategically placed your teams and, and it's looking good but what's the plan for the next five years what, what, where do you guys want to be are you guys thinking of maybe international market so how what's the scene what's the scene inside uh since far past five years like we are, our main game was like call of duty 4 hmm. uh but it's it's dying so we can't actually depend on the game mm. so uh we are planning on to move move on with league of legend and dota 2 okay. uh my biggest dream is to uh, compete in internationals uh, dota 2 it's the biggest uh, okay. dota 2 tournament in the world so uh that's the main that's plan the plan for the next 5 years next 5 years yeah to see and get a team to the international market yeah. that's the basic that's cool plan cool plan All right, so it's been a good discussion, man. Thanks for coming down. But just before we close up, is there anyone that you would like to thank? Uh, any anyone that you would like to give a heads up to? Uh, anything? Just just a shout out. Uh, actually, I would like to thank all my clanmates, uh, people who are playing at the moment, and people who uh, actually uh, retired. And uh, of course, uh, few names I would like to uh, say. Sure. Uh, thunder and king and laser uh, from max and uh, uh, ravin from game lk and warrior and scooby uh, from noble alliance they are giving me uh, giving us a uh, good support, good support yeah. of course and uh, everyone who, who is supporting us uh, big thank to them as well all right Well, thanks, Asus. Thanks for coming in today and having a chat. Uh, it was good to know about the future plans of Max and and the journey that you guys have come. So, wish you all the best and wish the clan all the best as well. Uh, and Game LK will always support you guys and all other clans in 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 the country as well. So, all the best for that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Asus, for coming and having a chat with us. It was good to talk to you. Also, if you guys would like to nominate someone, leave a comment somewhere down there, um, and we'll look into getting them on the show and having a chat with them as well. All right. So next up on this segment, we have a quick recap of uh, the Call of Duty rankings in Sri Lanka. Uh, basically, we've taken into account two tournaments: that is SLCG 2012 and the PNX Respawn tournament. So these are the current standings. Uh, so the rankings are as follows. Uh, first up, we've got Techmoff that leads the ranking table at number one uh, with their team Outlaws. Then we got uh, Death Company DC uh, has two of their teams uh, in the top. Five uh, with Ipon taking second place and Imminent Demise taking fourth. Uh, Maximum Esports coming at the third place, while Phoenix Gaming slots it at number five. Uh, all of these details are on the site, so you guys can take a look at it at your leisure. Also, other rankings are currently being calculated. Uh, there's a few more rankings that we need to calculate, so those details also will be up soon on the site. So do take a look.
Welcome to the unboxing of the new Logitech G400S gaming mouse, uh, part of uh, their new G series. Uh, by first glance, I can tell that it has the same uh, form factor as the legendary MX518, uh, the G5 or the classic MX Duo, which was also used in the predecessors of uh, this G400S, the Logitech G400. Maybe Logitech ran out of green for R&D, who knows. It's a 4 to 4000 DPI optical mouse without uh, unneeded DPIs like 8200 uh, and 25 Gs of max acceleration. A polling rate of 1000 reports per second and that's one nasty mouse. Uh, one of the main differences between this is the old G400. And they claim that the mouse uh, could take about 20 million clicks. Now when the first G9 came out, if memory is served, they said it could probably take up to about 8 million clicks. Now if you're a Dota or lol player uh, that is what like about three or two days also they claim that the mouse feet on this mouse can be dragged about 250 kilometers um, we personally don't know how you could measure that but if there is an issue with warranty um, it could be replaced but at the end of the day it's logitech so we'll just take their word for it uh, so it comes off with a three-year warranty okay first off no braided cables because i'd be floored if i were to find this lovely mouse and to have the same braided cables as before, all tangled up and screwed up and everything. And no driver CDs and other fancy wasteful stuff of all these mumbo jumbos. And the cables has a very sufficient length, uh, meaning that it looks really long. I'm assuming it's about, it's a, it's a bit over six feet maybe. So this mouse looks really nice with the flashy hallucinogenic lights. And for an entirely plastic body mouse, it has surprisingly a good grip to it. Um, on the flip side, from the clicks to the cool G logo, the texture with the cool stripes sure feels really nice. So we have eight programmable buttons, uh, on the fly DPI switching and on the back and forward buttons in their ideal locations with the forward button being slightly smaller than the back button, uh, much less like the Logitech G9. And on the bottom, the standard optical sensor and relatively large mouse feet. As pros, the sculptured grip feels really nice and it fits like a glove in your hand and it's resistant to sweat buildup um, and, and smudging. As for the cons, the whole non-adjustable weight thing is a total bummer, but then again, the non-braided cables can make it susceptible to tangles as well. Contrary to popular beliefs and based on personal experience, I find the braided cables quite prone to tangling. The mouse being a right-handed and the software being incompatible with the Mac, some might say, are also going into cons, which will weigh out the pros. So the bottom line is that the 4000 uh, DPI optical sensor and really durable clicks according to Logitech uh, is that the G400S mouse is a decent gaming mouse for FPS um, enthusiasts, though better options do exist in the market and for the same price range. Here's an opportunity for you guys to interact with us on this segment. Um, we basically want to know what you guys think about game piracy in Sri Lanka. Uh, is it immoral or is it just like a victimless crime? Uh, now you guys can go onto our forum and comment and post and you know kill each other if you want. And we will take the most controversial clip and we will discuss it further in our next segment. Well that's a wrap for this edition of GLK TV. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a lot more stuff coming up next week as well. But just before we go, uh, just a quick heads up on the GLK ID. You guys can visit the site and this is the ID. It's pretty cool. You get your name engraved and it looks like a credit card. So it's pretty, it's pretty fine. Uh, check out the website. Uh, you get more information there. Also, there's some information running around the screen right about now, I think. If not, check the website out. So finally, a big thank you goes out to uh, the store that we're actually recording from today. It's called US OG Store uh, down in Nugegoda. Uh, thank you out to the crew. You guys have been really helpful. And also, a tip for you guys. Um, if you guys ever come in over here, the Wi-Fi password for the store is the best tech store ever. So that's a wrap for today. I uh, hope to see you guys next week. Cheers.